Morning everyone, today is Friday, December 29th, and today we will cover the trades for Yield Max Funds TSLY and CONY. Woke up a little late, so um, just had a cup of coffee and getting the day started before work. All right, what you're looking at right now is TSLY, and um, yet again, no trades, but their price went down overall for the day. Oddly enough, it was booming. It was going up the whole day and then it crashed. I don't have no idea why. But regardless of that, their synthetic position is still in a credit. Uh, Tesla price is above the synthetic price of 250, which expires January, 20, uh, January 19th, 2024. Uh, we'd be in a credit position of 784,000. Therefore, it would make zero sense to roll it because there's not even a strike you know, the next strike up is probably 255 anyway, which, you know, they're not going to do unless they're at or above, probably. So nothing to really talk about with the synthetic. So let's go to the calls tab. Um, so if we look at the price change, TSLY went down 2.26%. TSLA, Tesla, went down 3.16%. Uh, so, obviously... Te you know, Tesla beat Tesla. Again, when Tesla goes down, we go down with it, but to an extent, because we do have outstanding calls, um, that will cost less to close. So our nav will go up slightly as the underlying goes down. I know I say that a lot, but hopefully it does make sense. Outstanding shares did not change. Crazy. I mean, <laughs> no one's buying Tesla. It's hard to imagine. Um, cash and treasuries, it barely changed. It went down $61,166. So again, really short, short, you know, short information on Tesla. Um, yesterday I was kind of, you know, venting a little that we were, I don't even remember. I think we we're at the money essentially. And then we opened it and we went we went right past the 260, 250 in no time. And it wasn't looking good. And then here we are now. We're back. We're 3.68% out of the money with one trading day. Like, how in the... I don't understand it. I mean, it's like it's like they know things, right? Anyway, um, not going to go there. 30-day IV, 50%. So at least that went up. That's a good thing. Um, poss possible... Uh, gains in the nav we're at 12 12 can go up to 45 cents i'm showing if tesla does go up today my reaction face is like hmm how are they doing this how are they getting this right every single week again we have one more trading day so we'll see what happens uh the nav is at 84 cents still again no trades nothing going on so that's not going to change nothing crazy um, just so you guys know, I'm going to track this one until the end of the year. I know I have January dates here, but I'm going to cut this off 1231 activity, and then I'm going to make my uh, estimate. So today is actually the last day, the last trading day that I'm going to count towards the distribution of January. So I'll be able to get an estimate now for you guys. Uh, hopefully this weekend, um, I got, you know, I also have the account update this weekend. So, you know, we'll see what happens. I'll do my best. Same applies to Coney, obviously. Um, all right, Coney had a trade. As always, they have trades because people are buying Coney. Uh, 130 contracts added. So if you look, the again, when they add to this synthetic, the synthetic price is much lower than the current price, so they're going to pay out the wazoo uh, for the call, and they're going to barely get a credit on the put. So that's going to decrease, um, you know, their synthetic uh, profits for December. But if they rolled it right now, we're looking at a credit of twenty four point six million, which is pretty good, and they will roll it. I I can almost guarantee that they will roll it today. Um, before the end of the year and the only question is what price will they roll it to 185 maybe um that's going to be a massive profit i mean if they don't roll it they're stupid but we'll see um 
I mean, well, I don't know. Maybe they have enough profit to pay out, which they do for this year. Or, but I don't know. I think they should end, end the year with a bang with this one. They should roll it and then pay us out whatever that comes to, $4 or something. Who knows? But I'll calculate it. We'll see what happens today. Anyway, what they do with this uh, synthetic? They, they opened a new call that expires next week with a 210 strike, which is 12.69% out of the money. Okay, that's okay. Again, only four trading days next week. Coney went up again, 0.8%. Coin went up 0.6%. So Coney actually beat Coin yesterday. That's pretty good. Um, outstanding shares increased yet again, 8.3 million. Income is out of debit, total income out of debit. So we're still at a loss. Cash and treasuries, I was calculating this this morning. I was like, oh, how are we down? But anyway, they added a new treasury position, a 61324 expiration, and put about $10 million in there. So uh, the cash is pretty low, though, $4.5 million. So um, obviously, they have the 1231 treasuries to use. So that'll go into cash plus any interest. I don't know if the interest is already there, but um, I assume they could use that. We'll see what it calculates to whatever this payout's going to be. Um, but what is that? 81. So that puts us at what? 86 million for the payout. If I jump ahead here, if we go to the payment, what's the total in net income? 22 million. Yeah, that's more than enough. All right. So let's go to active. Where do we stand? Well, we still have 5,745 contracts underwater. 3.41% in the money. I guess it could be worse. It, it has been worse for sure. So we're going to lose a lot of money on that though. Uh, and then we have three different sets of contracts. 665 expires today. That's 1.95% out of the money with a 190 strike. Coin is priced at 186 currently. And then we have two sets of contracts that expire into next week. 5,745 contracts with a $200 strike, 7.32% out of the money. That's that could be in trouble. We'll see. Um, and then the other one is a very small position, 130 contracts. They just opened. 210 strike price, 12% out of the money. That one's looking okay. 89% um, IV, which is, again, insane. My reaction, you know, it's just I didn't even change it because that one is just so underwater. Uh, it just sucks to lose money. I know we're gaining money on the synthetic, so we're fine, but... Why can't I want both? You know, why is it so bad to root for weekly income from the calls and income from the synthetic? It is possible. And if that happens, forget it. This thing is, whew. oh, by the way, look at Coney price, 30.08. Wow, nuts. Um, our total payment dropped a little, 275 now per share. But again, the synthetic opening cost us a little money. But don't worry, they're going to roll it. I have no doubt in my mind, but not financial advice, please. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a YouTuber, you know, a schlep on YouTube, as as I've been saying. Um, just guessing, you know, but educated guess that they're going to roll this and we're going to make more money and they're going to add it to this and then cha-ching, cha-ching, right? So, and then as mentioned on the other Tesla video, this is the, this is the last trade for the year. I'll do my calculation and I'll do my prediction on C-O-N-Y and T-S-L-Y. And then I'll do a guesstimate on all the others, which is pretty much a shot in the air, you know, blindly. And we'll see how it goes. But um, that's all I got for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know I may have rushed this one as well. Someone complained about that yesterday. So I apologize. Again, it's just a you know busy week, different setup. Everyone's home. But um, I apologize if I went too fast again. I'll try to slow it down in the future. All right. Um, as I mentioned, if you enjoyed this, please click like. Um, if you have any questions, leave in the comments. If not, have a great day. Later.